going on. Wait for it. Got the phone going uh, on Insta, Insta. I got the computer going on YouTube. We are going simultaneously live. This is a technology nightmare. <laughs> uh, but super happy to be with you guys tonight. Uh, this is going to be a live Q&A for the Dark Horse Academy, which is open right now. Open Monday, closes Monday. Pretty simple. Keep that in mind. It only opens twice a year. If you are interested in checking more out about it, darkhorserowing.com slash academy. That is where you can find it right now. And uh, let's see. With that being said, uh, let me make sure. All right. So here's the deal because I'm managing two platforms at once. I'm just going to be taking questions from you guys. What is the academy? Who should be using it? Why would I pick it? Why would I even take a rowing thing? And uh, and who's it for? So one more time, let's just start with darkhorserowing.com slash academy. This is where you're going to go if you are interested in checking out the academy. Now, what is the academy? Great question. I'm happy all of you asked. The academy is our seminar put together with Concept2. It is a partnership with Concept2 to offer the Concept2 indoor rowing seminar online. So huge advantage to this is that you are not having to pay to travel. You're not having to pay for a hotel. You're not having to pay for crappy food from a local restaurant that you don't want to be eating at. You don't have to take time off work and you don't have to leave home, right? You can do it all from the comfort of your own home which is why we built this thing. Uh, frankly, I wanted to make it easier for more people to be able to take this seminar. So that is what it is. Same cost as taking the seminar in person, but you save about $1,000 by not having to go to an actual seminar. All that time you're gonna save, as well as the information is way easier to understand. So um, that's an important distinction, is that the, the success rate of taking the academy online is, 15 times greater than in person. I can go over the details on that if you're curious why, feel free to ask, and then I'll fill you in. Uh, but here's, an, here's a, another very common question. Why would I take either the basic or the pro? So if you've been to the landing page, the darkhorserun.com slash academy, you'll see that there's a basic version and a pro version, okay? The basic version is all of the information that you would get in the pro, okay? And we'll just start there. Um, so you start with, uh, long time watcher, first time chatter. Welcome, Mike. Uh, I'm going to guess Jeanette. I'm sorry if that's the improper pronunciation of that. Uh, can you give some specific examples of what we'll be learning? Absolutely. And I'll get in, get to that in a second. So let me, I'll finish the basic and the pro explanation. So the basic is all of the information that comes out of the concept two manual, teaching you how to use the machine as a training tool. It teaches you how to, well, let me back up. All of the information is there, okay? That's the basic. Basically, the basic is for somebody who wants to learn as much as they can about the machine, but they don't, they don't need to be certified on the back end, right? You don't need to have a concept two or a dark horse um, check of approval. You just want the information. That's the basic. And there are a lot of people that go that route. One of my favorite stories, um, so one of my favorite stories is somebody who was staying in a retire. They lived in a retirement home. They had rowing machines at their retirement home. And she was like, I'm never going to be a coach. Listen, like, I don't go to CrossFit gyms. I don't do, it's not my thing. We just have rowing machines here. I think they're valuable. And I want to be able to help people that are at my retirement home learn how to use this machine better. She took the basic and it was perfect for her. Um, the pro takes all of the basic and then it adds a testing component on the end. And that's the difference. The testing component is for those of you that want the, the Dark Horse and the Concept 2 seal of approval. Uh, you have to pass with a 90% or better. And it is a uh, there's definitely a level of standard there that makes that you have to work for. Um, but when you come out of it, you are a much better coach. Now, Jeanette, playing to your question, uh, I do want to back up. Your question was, can you give us an example of what's actually inside? Absolutely. So module one is welcome. So you, there's, we, do, we have an interview with Peter Dreisgacker, founder of Concept2. You're going to get introduced to Dark Horse Rowing, and you're going to understand how to work through the course a little bit better. Module 2 is the basics. You're going to learn catch, drive, release, recover. You're going to learn why, how. You're going to learn terminology about those things. You're going to get lectures on 
why we move through the movements the way that we move them. You're going to tie into pieces where we're talking, we're trying to relate it to things you already understand. So perhaps you understand a kettlebell swing or a clean or a squat. We're going to relate it to things that you already understand. We're going to make some paradigm shifts through that as well. Um, and we're going to basically teach you the, the foundations of the movement. So that's where it starts. Next, you're going to start moving into nuances. We're going to work on developing your eye as a coach. So you're going to see bad examples of rowing. And then you're going to see the drills that we would use to fix them. So there's a whole lecture on here's an error. Here's what I would use to fix it. And we, I try to give you my eye. Along with all of these videos that you're going to be watching, there's actual practical application where there's a PDF that you download, print, take with you, and practice with somebody, whether that's a family member, your kids, in your gym, whatever it may be. And um, so, I'm sorry, I got locked into reading a question. Um, so there's that, right? So you're gonna take these PDFs and by the time you're done, you'll hopefully have a little workbook of all the material that you've gone through. And uh, so then you would, it, basically we, we work from nuances, we work into developing your coaching eye, you learn a lot more principles, so it gets really deep. You learn about cleaning your machine, how to maintain it, how to take it apart, put it back together. Uh, you're also going to, there's an entire module on coaching itself. How, how are you a good coach? Uh, can I speak Chinese? No, I cannot speak uh, Chinese. I have only been to China once, I'm sorry. I do speak French, but I don't speak Chinese. Uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, that's, that's a, I hope that, Jeanette answers your question as to to what uh, you'll find inside the academy. It's six modules of full on material, um, and we also have the ability to uh, we have the ability to give ACE credits. So if you are ACE certified, uh, if you take the basic, you get 0.3 credits. If you take the pro and pass, you get 1.1 credits as well. All right, I'm going to jump to a question over on YouTube. Uh, Mike Babich, hey brother, long time watcher, first time chatter, sweet, glad you're here, thank you. Um, Kathy Cakes, new to your channel, got my Concept2 roar last week, so excited, everybody, round of applause. Stoked for you, Kathy Cakes, um, congrats, welcome to the family. Uh, Mike, I don't know if this is the forum, kind of sounds like it's not, I'll ask anyway, I'm looking towards completing a 24 hour roar for max distance, I'd love to hear some tips. Uh, I will get to that after I've answered Academy questions, Mike. I hope that's okay. Um, John Agapos, I hope that I pronounced that right. It's You know, it's really hard uh, to pronounce names when you're on a live. So the coaching eye, that's gonna be a challenge. It is, uh, and yet we've actually refined it even better. So in person, for a nine hour, uh, for a nine hour seminar, John, I can try to teach you the coaching eye, but I just don't get enough time with you. And so it's nine hours, you walk away with maybe 10% of the information. Because we took this online, and because you can revisit this content as many times as you need, the information is retained way better. And I'm finding that the coaching eye for my coaches in the academy is a million times better than the coaching eye that I was getting from, from people who were taking it in person with me. And I know that's, it sounds weird that online for a physical thing uh, would, would be better than in person. And I, I, all I can say is that it's the ability to revisit constantly and really watch over and over and over. What was the thing that was wrong with that? Um, so let's see, I'm gonna jump over to Insta here, back up a little bit. Uh, Gabby Pucciani, did I pronounce that right? Recently purchased the Concept2 and your YouTube videos have been priceless. Thank you very much. I'm happy you're enjoying them and getting uh, use out of them. How much is the Academy T Van 11? How much is the Academy? Both options. The basic is 299, and the Pro is 499. Which honestly, if you know um, John, thank you by the way. Glad I pronounced your name right. Uh, T Van uh, 11. Um, if you know the coaching realm, that's a that's a steal. Uh, 299 doesn't really exist in the seminar world, and 499 is still a steal, uh, especially considering you don't have to show up anywhere. Not to mention, you guys get lifetime access to all of this stuff. So it's not like you pay once, then we make you pay again. Once you pay, you're in. You are, you're now a, you have the information till, till you're done uh, and, and after. So, um, and the same thing, if you take the pro, you do not have, there's no timeline on the testing. I've had people 
test after their first week. And then I've had people test after two years. You can submit whenever you're ready because I don't want to rush the process and I want you to be comfortable submitting when you're ready. Uh, all right. Can I speak Chinese? No, we covered that one. Sorry, I can't. Um, Jeanette, yes, it did. Thanks. I'm really interested in the, uh, the principles section of the academy. Yeah, I, I think, Jeanette, um, you'll find that there is a... What I would suggest, let me let me put it this way. If any of you are on the fence, if you've been thinking about the academy, don't take my word for it. Go to our testimonials page. We just launched a, a, a testimonials page. Um, I did. I interviewed four of our uh, recent grads, and they listen to their stories because they all came from different backgrounds. We have a, a PE teacher. We have a lifeguard. We have. Um, we have a former rower, which is great. Like we actually get a lot of rowers who come in because they know rowing, but they don't know how to relay the information. And then we have somebody who basically, let's see. Oh, we have a chiropractor who came in, used rowing a lot within his practice. And he was like, well, I should probably figure out how to use this machine. So there are, there are so many people that have gone through this course from so many different areas. Go check out the testimonials if you're on the fence and you're like, I need to hear from somebody else. I totally understand um, and and would do that. How long uh, are we rowing each day? It's totally up to you. Uh, you can, um, <laughs> so you can row as much or as little as you need to work through the course. I encourage as much practice as possible. It's why with these PDFs, I'm always sending you away from the course because I want you uh, to go practice the material. This isn't like a, I just want you to watch the videos and boom, you're done. You can coach. I mean, like, let me clear that up. If you thought that this was going to be like, oh, watch some videos and I'll become dark a dark horse instructor. It doesn't work that way. I want, You have to go work. You have to practice. That's the only way you can get better at this thing. Um, so you do end up with a lot of work, which is totally cool. Um, grinder rowing, can you test multiple times? You can. Um, if you fail, I can you. I send you copious amounts of notes. You get about three pages of notes from me on um, your ten-minute video submission, uh, and I encourage. I will tell you exactly what you need to improve. You go back, you test it as long as you need until you're ready, and then you can resubmit. Um, and many people do. Uh, most people do not pass the first time. I'm going to go over here to YouTube, uh, John Agapos. Since I've already paid. <laughs> And done some of the modules already. So, John, you're in. Great. Um, I'll just read what he says for everybody here. So, uh, since he's already paid and done some of the modules already, he can attest that there is a lot more to the program than what you'll discover just using Google. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. It's, uh, it's actually really helpful from somebody inside to be saying that. And that's really, I cannot tell you, it's hard to feel incredibly genuine when I'm doing YouTube and Instagram lives. Um, but I honestly want to deliver as much value to you guys as possible in this. And I'm not trying to skimp it. I, I, I care desperately about building good, strong coaches. And I, it means a lot to me when somebody comes and wants to learn about it, I want to deliver as much value as possible. So, and again, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. If you get in, you're like, I hate this, this sucks. And you've actually put in some work like you've truly tried. I'll give you your money back. I don't. I don't want your money if you aren't happy. And frankly, we'd only end up both frustrated about the whole thing. So that's why we have a thirty-day money-back policy. Is because you get in, you give it an earnest effort, and you show me the work. You turn over the work that you've done to me, and, and show me. Um, and you're like, this thing sucks. I'm not. I won't. I will, without a question, give your money back. Um, I am Josh. Josh Frank. What's up, buddy? Uh, does the academy include material that helps you start slash grow a specialty class, maybe with an existing gym? I would say that it's light on that material, Josh. However, most of our grads do that. So where I would say the value comes from the academy is in our private community, which is on Facebook, just like uh, Josh, you know, you're in the, the crew, our private Facebook group for our workout protocol. Um, we have a group just for our instructors as well, and they all support each other and they put in a ton of information. So a lot of our coaches end up starting programs, clubs, uh, not to mention, and I said this last time, but there is a 
massive influx of rowing studios that are coming around the world. Everybody hear me when I'm saying this. I, I've been saying that it was going to happen for about five years. It is literally happening. I, as we were, hey, uh, Grinder Rowing just purchased. I saw the alert on my phone. That was actually pretty cool. Um, so anyways, there are, there are going to be a ton of jobs out there, guys. If you are wanting a specialty and you want like a fast in to a place like uh, a row house or a crew studio or whatever, any of the indoor rowing gyms that are popping up, you take in the Concept2 and Dark Horse cert, you're a shoe-in. I mean, as long as your personality jives, like you are a shoe-in. Nobody else out there has this specialty knowledge. You guys will literally be the first wave. And people are like, oh, I don't know. No, I'm not joking. Nobody else, who else is going to take it? I'll be honest, rowers generally make terrible coaches because we know the knowledge too well. And so it's hard for us to, to impart the knowledge to others. Exactly why we've had a lot of rowers take this. And we've also had a lot of people who know nothing about rowing who end up becoming rowing coaches. One of, one of the guys that's on the testimonial page, no rowing background, he's now coaching a crew team at, his high, at the high school that he works at. Another coach, another coach, lifetime like of fitness, he'd been in the fitness industry. He, uh, he took the academy, he's in, in the UK, took the academy, came out, graduated, he was my first graduate of the, of the pro academy. Went and got a job with British rowing, British rowing. Um, if that's not a testament to the impact that this kind of knowledge has, you cannot be a rower and you could go get a job with a massive organization like this. All right, I'm gonna go to another question on YouTube. Uh, Mike Roberts, quite simply, one of the best video series out there. Thank you so much, I appreciate that, Mike. Um, I'm sorry, I this is in Korean. Hi, I'm from South Korea, my name is, oh, Liza or Lisa. Uh, I bought Concept 2 Model E. I learned a lot from you. Thank you. I'm happy it's helping. Jody Deaton, if you go with the bath, bait, if you go with the basic, is there an upgrade path? And if so, can you explain it? Yeah, it's it's very simple, Jody. If you buy the basic, um, you will have the ability at any time to upgrade to pro. So if you go through the basic and and you're happy with the information, and maybe you just want the information for a while, and then eventually you're like, all right. I'm ready. I'm ready to like move to the next level. You can absolutely upgrade to the pro. So um, we never want to limit you guys. If you're in and you're liking the information and you want to upgrade, absolutely. We're happy to let you guys upgrade. Mike Babbage, so this teaches you on water rowing coaching as well. Um, let me clarify. It does not teach you on water rowing. So I'm not like getting on the water, getting in a boat, oars in hand. I'll, I'll say that. Um, there is a there's a necessary component to this where you actually find the water and go have a coach who will show you on water rowing. Uh, the coach in the UK, for example, who uh, who signed up, he um, he was teaching their indoor seminars. Uh, that's how what he got hired for. And then our PE teacher who teaches uh, the crew team, he learned from the head coach. So he got hired as the novice coach. Um, and so the, with the head coach, you know, he started with dry land training on the ergs. He could instruct the students, no problem. And then he's learning from the varsity coach, how to actually coach the on water piece, which is getting an oar in your hand. And we do not coach that. Let, I just want to make sure that that's clear, Mike. Um, you, you can absolutely take this information and it will relay into coaching on the water, but you will have to pursue further education past that. Um, Liza, born in 1944. That's amazing. And you're using our stuff. That's very cool. Uh, every day you do a thousand calories, but it's it's painful in your fingers. Yeah, that happens if you're doing that much volume. Um, so make sure you guys are dropping your questions. By the way, for those of you that are you know just tuning in now, I'm I'm both on YouTube and Instagram, uh, and I'm taking questions from both. So if you've got questions, drop them, and we will. I'm answering anything that comes through right now. Um, play G, I want to lose fat, going to the gym three times a week and the other day rowing at home. Fantastic. It's a great tool to use to do for that. Uh, back to Josh Frank. Uh, okay. 
Okay, what other questions we got? Drop your questions about the academy, guys. Um, can answer my question about, oh, 24 hour tips. Yeah, thank you. Um, good, good reminder, Mike. Uh, I don't know if this is the forum. I'm looking for, toward completing a 24 hour row for maximum distance. Love to hear some tips on the best training for it. Number one, best place to start is with our marathon program. Um, I may be mistaken, but we're, or we may have the only marathon training plan out there. Um, and you can find that in our crew, which go to darkhorserun.com, is in our, uh, Ian, what's up? Ian's joining us, everybody. Everybody say hi to Ian Isk. Um, but you'll find the marathon program in our crew, and that's a great place to start, um, just building up to that kind of volume, Mike, because that's a ton of time, right? And it's funny, I actually got uh, the same question just earlier today on Instagram from somebody. Uh, Find it in our marathon marathon blog post, actually. Claire, we may not have it uh, live in our marathon post anymore. Correct me if I'm wrong. At one point, I thought that that might have been broken. Um, but if not, fantastic. Go check out our marathon blog post, Mike. Uh, that's if, go check, yeah, start there. If it works, great. Otherwise, uh, we've moved it into the crew. One way or another, there's a marathon program there. I would start with that and let that be your guide. Um, from there, you start getting into volume ranges that are that exceed what makes a lot of sense for a, a standard programming. We could write one. We haven't yet just because there aren't enough people doing it yet. Uh, it, it just becomes a really high volume program. I would encourage you to to you know, put at least six months between you and completion of that so you have enough time to train and especially get butt and seat time. That one's big, just spending time with your butt sitting in that seat. Uh, let's see, what other questions we got? Drop them now. So again, uh, if you guys are checking this out, darkhorserowing.com slash academy is where you're going to find our academy. It is only open for one week. Don't don't email me on Tuesday and be like, I went to buy it and it wasn't available. You Fair warning, it's closed. On uh, on Tuesday, it's going to be closed. So get in now. This is, the we do it twice a year, fall and spring. Um, if you want to wait to the, the spring, the uh, fall, more power to you. Plenty of people take their time and wait. Um, but I would love to see you in this year. Uh... Two minutes of rowing, one minute rest, total of 10. Is this uh, good for fat loss? Anything that gets you moving when it comes to losing weight is a positive. If it excites you and if it's something that you will continue with, then it is absolute and it makes you move, it's absolutely a path to weight loss. Always keep in mind, nutrition, however, is number one. You must always start with changing your nutrition if you want to make life changes. Uh, deviated from academy questions, that's okay. Mike, are they live seminars with you? Are you talking about the Academy? Um, in which case, no, it's not. Uh, we will be having two calls to uh, like webinars with the group at the four week and the eight week mark. Um, so, uh, but other than that, they're pre recorded videos. Uh, we do have our community in which we are answering questions and you can come and drop video of your technique and get coached by the other coaches and coach the other coaches. And we do a lot trying to, to breed um, communication in that group. So there's a lot, uh, there are a lot of resources available to you, uh, but they are not live seminars with me, but we will have the two live streams at the four week mark and the eight week mark to reinforce and basically do Q and A's for all of the coaches who are in. So it's a very specific group making sure that any roadblocks you have, um, we are, we're answering your questions. Uh, Daniel Brophy, hi Shane, I've rewatched the meetup you had with Austin from Train Tell Us here, we'd love to see another club. I actually reached out to him around uh, Christmas and told him, you know, let's do some collab. Like a lot of you guys follow both of us. I would love personally to do it. Um, I think he was busy, he has a lot going on, we both do. So maybe it'll happen someday, we'll see. Um, Nathan Ellison, what's up man? Hand care for the marathon program. Um, yeah, hand care, great question. 
Uh, although, um, I'll make it a quick answer. Lanolin. Find a lanolin oil. Uh, there's actually a company. Mm, I think I just threw the sheet. Uh, lanolin oil on your hands will help take care of those calluses. Old rower's trick, but it actually does the job. Uh, Play G, have I been to China? I have, Shanghai, um, and coached a, uh, coached a seminar there. Actually loved it. And I actually went rowing there too. So I have some really cool photos. We I don't know if we were north or south of the city, but uh, we got to go rowing inland, which was pretty cool. Uh, Mike, do you do one-on-one -on -one coaching for a 24 row, like a tri coach? Uh, you mean like one-on-one, -on -one, like custom programming? Absolutely. We have one-on-one -on -one custom programming. So if you want custom programming, shoot us an email, support at darkhorserun.com, and uh, we can connect with you on that, Mike. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so Nathan, yeah, Lanolin. Let me, hold on. Whoop. I think I threw it in the trash right here. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. All right, this is actually a buddy of mine who started this. Go to rowinghands.com. I'm not getting paid to say this. I don't know if this is backwards or forwards for you guys. <laughs> rowing hands. Blisters? Save your hands. Rowinghands.com. <laughs> <laughs> I liked that little pitch. That was fun. Uh, but really, it's just, it's like lanolin. Um, it's kind of an oil, not really an oil. I don't know um, how to, I don't really know what it is. It's lanolin. And you just lightly apply it to your blisters. And it's been used for ages in the rowing world. So, rowinghands.com. Got blisters? Save your hands. Rowinghands.com. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why that's entertaining me so much. What other questions do you guys have? We're we don't go I don't go live that often and yet I really am enjoying this. Um what what do you want to know about the academy? What questions do you have? Um oh, you know what? I got some emailed here. Let me look at these. Okay. Uh Uh that's a question about fitness. Oh, here's a great question from Andrew Lane. Uh, would like more info on how much time would need, be needed to dedicate to studying. A couple hours a day. I see that the full curriculum is about six weeks, another four weeks to prep the cert, uh, but still not sure what to expect as far as how much time per day or week I should expect to dedicate to the course. That is a fantastic question, Andrew Lane. So the answer is as much as you need. Um, Again, I've had people do this in a week. I've had people do this over two years. Uh, one of the best ways of uh, understanding how much time it takes, I would say, is to watch our testimonial videos because each of them did it in a different format. One of them, we had an elite offering uh, last time around and we were having weekly calls. And so I was giving them extra homework and we were having like coaching sessions in person. And uh, other people took, took their time because they had... They have two kids and they own a business uh, and they have another job and they and, 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 right? They're just, it, you can take as much time as you need. If you wanted to move through it diligently with a module a week, I would say four to six hours a week is appropriate if you wanted to move at that pace. But again, you do, you're not required to stick to a pace. Um. Mike Babich, what are these rowing studios you're talking about? Where can I see an example? I think there's a similar question over here on Instagram uh, from Josh Frank. Why do you think group rowing classes are taking off? Also, what are some of the qualities you think a good coach needs to develop outside of domain knowledge? Wow, great question, Josh. Okay, so uh, Mike, to answer your question directly, what are these rowing studios you're talking about? Where can I see an example? Row House is an example, so check out rowhouse.com. Uh, Crew Studio, I believe, is another. Row Studios, yet another. Uh, or and Iron or something like that. That's another one. I actually just got an ad on Instagram that there is a Row Studios, uh, a uh, row house opening here in San Diego, 20 minutes from me. It's not me. Somebody else is doing it. Um, so, Mike, I hope that answers your question. It's like a spin class. Yes, it's a gym filled with rowers and um, 
they're putting music and lighting and sound and fitness all onto the machine in a group setting. Um, so let's see. Oh, uh, Josh, to answer your question, um, why? Okay, why do I think group rowing classes are takeout? A, because rowing is one of the most useful and adaptable machines that exists. It's not like the treadmill. It's not like the bike um, or an elliptical where you have to, or for example, like dance classes. Now I love dancing. Those of you that know me, I actually love dancing. Ballroom, salsa, swing, done it all. Um, however, it is a great aerobic activity. Does, does it have the ability to develop strength? Not as much. The, the rowing machine can be used in many different facets. It's also extremely useful for adaptive athletes and for elderly clients, as well as kids, as well as for elite athletes. It works across the board for strength, endurance, strength, endurance, aerobic, anaerobic, whatever you need, the machine is extremely useful. And then on to your next question. And so anyways, it's, it's making a surge right now because people are realizing that it carries a lot of value, but at the same time that it's been untouched, which is why you're starting to see or forgotten, if you will, which is why you're starting to see studios pop up. They're trying to capitalize on something that other people aren't doing. And so rowing naturally is coming out of the woodwork and I've been preaching it for five years. Guess what? Anybody who comes through the academy, you're going to be on the forefront of being able to get into those studios or open your own because nobody else out there is teaching this knowledge the way that we're teaching it and giving you the ability to learn. Like I said, I desperately care about building great coaches. We will continue to do that in every way possible, and that will only grow. Um, what are some of the qualities you think a good coach needs to develop outside of domain knowledge? Qualities you think a good coach... Oh, okay. So aside from domain specific, what are qualities that a good coach needs, Josh? I assume that's... I'm, I'm paraphrasing here. Um that's an excellent question. Empathy. And you can pretty much leave it at that, in all honesty. Empathy leads to a lot of the downstream effects of a great coach. Um, it means that you care. It means that you're willing to take a step back and problem solve. I think a healthy understanding of anatomy is really critical for coaches. So, you know, if I'm hiring a coach, I want them to have a really good understanding of human anatomy because it allows you to perceive somebody's movement in a completely different way when you understand the muscular structures as well as the vascular and the skeletal system. And when you really understand how the body moves, your analysis of somebody's movement becomes uh, unbelievably better. I cannot, so I, I got my ACE certification back in the day as a group fitness instructor. I did that because at the time I was like, oh, I have to get this certification. I'll just get the like, Easiest one to get, group fitness instructor, the throw away. To be honest, that was one of the best things that I ever did because we actually had to learn about anatomy in order to get that. And it completely changed my coaching career, completely. Because I came back and all of a sudden the way that I was talking to clients and the way that I was interacting with them changed everything. So a good understanding of anatomy um, and empathy. Frankly, I don't think there's enough empathy in this world right now, and we could all use a giant, healthy, freaking dose of empathy for one another. Just me. Flight taking off. Thanks for answering. We'll watch relay, replay to catch the end of your answer. Gotcha, buddy. Safe travels. Uh, okay. Jay, I'm going to go over to YouTube here. Jay Pabian, have you done a video on using the power meter to analyze a person's Rowing stroke, you mean the force curve. I have not done a force curve specific video. We've done videos on force curve, but not explaining how to use it. We do that in the academy, however. There is a force curve lecture where we go over different force curves and I explain what each one is generally showing you and how you can use force curve to coach your athletes. Thank you for that. Um, it's a, an excellent question. Kath Cakes, how many times a week should a begin a row? Worked out Monday and Tuesday, taking today off. Looking to get fit and drop weight. Kathy, I'm going to save that one to the end uh, after I've gone through Academy questions. Uh, Marcus Crayon, what would the first three months of your fitness program look like? Uh, can you rephrase that, Marcus? I'm not exactly sure what you're asking there. Lynn, Lynn Rousseau, I've had a rower 
Ick, just getting back to it, can you do a video on the PM3 display, how to track stuff? I can't do a video on the PM3 because I don't actually have one on me. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Lynn, it's in Tustin. What's in Tustin? Are you talking about a row house? Because I do know there's a row house in Tustin. Josh B uh, Bake, Beck, Bake, Beck. Hi, Shane. Picked up a C2 rowing machine in early February. I'm aiming to improve my score to sub 645 from where I am now, 730 in the next four months to walk on to pen lightweights. Yeah, nice job. Could I speak a little on frequency of steady state training versus gym training? Is there a certain number of meters? Okay, um, so just going to real quick recap. Drop your academy questions. We are talking about the academy um, right now. I will, if there are other questions, I will... Um, I will answer the, the movement questions after we're done. Um, also, keep in mind, you're interested, you want more information, darkhorserun.com slash academy. Go check it out right now. You can open a new browser tab, look it up, uh, and see what's going on there. So let's see. Jody Deaton, when does the course start? It started Monday. It's open. Next Monday, it closes. Boom. <laughs> Now's the time, uh, and it won't open again until the fall. So this is your, uh, yeah, this is your this is your time to get in, Jody. So if you're interested, spring break is coming up soon. Yeah, jump in now. It's okay to take a pause. If again, you can start and work at your own pace. You do not have to, you know, move at this continuously. So if you're like, ah, oh, spring break is in three weeks or two weeks, great, get in now. If you're interested now, take your break. Maybe you want to visit the information while you're on spring break. Maybe you don't. It's not going to matter to me. You can take the time that you need to work through this. It doesn't expire. It doesn't go away. You've got lifetime access. Lynn Rousseau, uh, the new row house. Yes. Yeah, there's one open in Tustin. Uh, like I said, I, I got advertised for one in San Diego today, Hillcrest. So they're all over, and they started in, in New York. Uh, Charlie Will, love seeing you here, sir. Pleasure to have you. Uh, you're already certified on C2 org by another organization. I'm assuming you can row too, because that's the only other organization. I really like your community. Are there academy options for me? There absolutely are. Um, what I would encourage you, so I will say that we teach the same basis of information, Charlie, but we teach it in very different ways. I I, I have students who have taken both. You can row too and uh, and dark horse. You're going to get, you're going to see the same same information distributed in a different format. Um, I would encourage you to take the either the basic or the pro. If you don't, you know, if, if becoming a dark horse coach is interesting to you, then take the pro. If you just want to see the way in which I teach the information and the format and the extras that I talk about, then take the basic because you've got the C two, um, the C two cert. So you know if that doesn't matter to you which I totally understand. It's not like you need to get doubly certified with them. That doesn't do you any good. Uh, then I would encourage you to check out our basic. And I think that you'll find that there is a, a lot of value in there. Um, I hope that answers your question. Charlie, I'd be honored to have you in there, especially with how long you've been hang, hanging around and, uh, and following our content. Uh, <laughs> Kian Farmer, my wife, uh, just said, if there's a bird in my house, what should I do? You should probably wait for your husband to finish uh, an Instagram and YouTube live. <laughs> and you should also open all the doors uh, and not try to scare it. And you should just very calmly try to coax it towards those doors because it will want uh, to find the end of it. A sensei, a sensei, what are you guys doing here? And why are you just chiming in now? Throw a towel over it. Kian Farmer, throw a towel over it, I guess. I'm assuming that confuses it, and so it like calms down. Throw a towel over it, Kian. Uh, Inis, how does this differ from the certification on Concept 2's website uh, from You Can Row 2? So You Can Row 2 is only in person, and it's cheaper to, to go take the online route, as well as we walk you through the whole process of certification. I will say, that for us to qualify you as a coach, meaning to pass our uh, test, I do believe that we carry a very high standard. Um, and so there's that as well, knowing that, that going through us, you're gonna come out as an extremely qualified and competent coach and extremely qualified and competent on the machine. 
Um, we teach from the same manual that Concept2 gives us. We obviously have our own instruction um, formats. And so there's that difference. Uh, but again, they're only in person and we're only online. So that's a, the, the main distinction really, uh, um, as well as our coaching styles would be the difference. Um, and that's a great question. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Charlie, I hope that answered your question. Kian, I hope you're catching that bird. Uh, I can't wait to see what I get to walk into the house to after this live. <laughs> uh, I once had a bird fly into the garage while I was filming. I had to deal with the same thing. So uh, just a reminder, those of you that are new to the live, this is the Academy Live Q&A. So if you have questions about the Academy, if you're considering the Academy, now is your time to ask questions to figure out uh, if this is the right thing for you or if any questions you have about the Academy, the differences between basic and pro, I've got you covered. Ask them and I will answer them. Now is your time. Um, is uh, My wife is looking at me uh, for, is it gone? What? Is the bird gone? No, it's raining. Throw a towel on it, okay. is what a sensei says. Okay. It'll calm it down and it'll catch it. Apparently it's flying into our windows from inside. Yikes. Um, I always feel, no, she's not holding a dead bird. I am an adamant pacifist when it comes to animals and bugs. Um, Uh-oh. How active is the master instructor? Uh, so we got another question from Charlie. How active is the master instructor Facebook group? It ebbs and flows with the onboard of uh, students. It picks up, and then generally for the first eight weeks, it's pretty active. And then in the in between seasons, it becomes like a kind of a Q and A board for each other. So um, people will ask questions as they have them, Charlie. So for example, like you want to open a studio, right? And you're curious about what you should be charging. How people are programming their classes based off of the number of machines they have. How many people they have per machine. Things like that. So um, over the next, I would say, eight weeks, it's pretty active. Uh, and we're on Academy. Um, or so. <laughs> Thanks for the triple eagle emoticon. <laughs> I'm hoping that this is a success, success story. Um, and we get this bird out alive. Uh, so, yes, continue questions. Any other questions? Charlie, I hope that answers your question for you. Um, what other questions do you guys have? Claire, no, she's not holding a dead bird. Ian, you're welcome for answering your question. Um, Chris, any tips on doing a 2K row? And what would you say an average 2K time would be? Cheers. Uh, so mostly just taking academy questions right now. If I don't see any other academy questions, then I'll come back to the uh, fitness questions. Um, there you have it. So again... Make sure if you're interested, you're going to darkhorserowing.com slash academy. It is only open Monday to Monday this week. We're in the heart of it. If you don't sign up now, there is no reopening for you. We, we close it down for a reason. I want people going through together and taking it at the same time. It makes it easier for us. Uh, and we get to onboard you guys all at the same time. So it makes it easier for us. Um, all right. With the lack of current questions, I am going to answer a few fitness questions. I see my wife running around the house. Don't know what that means. Have you done a video? Uh, how many times a week should a beginner row? Worked out Monday, Tuesday, taking today off, looking to get fit and drop weight. How many times should a beginner row? As many as start. Start low and build, Kathy Cakes. Um, don't be in a rush to just jump into rowing every single day. Odds are that'll last for two weeks and you'll burn out. I would rather see you start with two days a week and then after a month and a half and finding your, your rhythm, you add a third day. Do that for another month and a half, two months. Add a fourth day and slowly build until you find uh, your happy spot, if you will. Back to Insta. Claire H. Co. What if I'm not currently a coach or I'm a coach, but I'm not very good at rowing? We got the cure for what ails you, Claire H. Co. Um, you don't have to be a coach to join the academy. In fact, a lot of our people are not coaches. They join because they want to know the information and they just want to be able to pass it on to others, which is why, again, a lot of um, 
we just get a wide variety of people that all have, right, the, the machine is what ties everybody together. Um, but many of them are not in coaches or instructors. They're doing this for their own edification or to help the people around them. I come back to my example of the woman who lives in a retirement home. The retirement home had a couple of rowing machines. She took it so she could help her friends at, the, at her retirement home. That's a prime example. No, you don't have to be a coach. Um, what if you're a coach, but you're not very good at rowing? This is literally what we built it for. <laughs> this is for the fitness community. I built this for people who had no basis, zero, zero understanding of the machine. Let me say that again, because maybe I don't say that enough. If you know nothing about coaching or, or the rowing machine, this will take you from beginning to very, very competent and confident in moving and teaching people to move on the machine. Whether you want to teach them or not, that's totally up to you, but you will become extremely competent, confident, and your own movement is going to improve in the process. You do not have to have, there are no prerequisites to this. You don't have to have taken something else before this thing, okay? Great question, Claire. Uh, Marcus Crayon, sorry, uh, I didn't see a repeating of that question, so I'm not sure what you meant. Uh, picked up a Concept 2 machine in early February. I'm aiming to improve score to sub 645, so looking to drop 45 seconds from your 2K. Speak a little on frequency of steady state training versus gym training. A certain number of meters I should be erging on a weekly basis. Honestly, programming is so independent per person. Um, if you want to go from a 645, uh, 730 down to a 645, I would encourage you to be considering strength training that develops dynamic hip opening and explosive strength in combination with two to three days on the erg of 2K specific training. Um, let's see what else. Charlie, thanks, man. Love your content. Thanks, Charlie. Love your comments, man. Charlie will. Karen? What do you mean, Karen? The workout, Karen? All right, what other questions we got? Any more questions? This is about the Academy. We're here answering questions about the Academy because we are in open week. This is our open cohort time. If you have been thinking about learning to use the machine better, if you wanna teach people to use the machine better, this is your time to take this anywhere in the world and be able to learn how to use this machine. I've got you guys. <laughs> Charlie, wrong thread. Ah. <laughs> Wrong number, who dis? Uh, this is to teach you guys how to use this machine. Matt, eight deuce. If you get the basic, I assume that's Matt 82. If you get the basic, can you add on the test later? You absolutely can. You can always upgrade to the pro after you've taken the basic. Um, we we want to make sure that you're happy. So if you want to start small and, and then you see you want to move into the pro, Got you covered, you can do that, absolutely, once you're in. I'm not seeing a whole lot of other questions dropping, and so, <laughs> T Money RTZ, how do I make my Concept 2 into the cross-country ski machine you've seen in my videos? I assume you mean the Insta video, uh, the one where they took it and put it up on a rack. <laughs> that was uh, Shelly. C, uh, CF Shelley on Instagram. Go check her out. She's a fantastic athlete, great human being. She lives in the UK. She created that rig that she set up. Otherwise, if that is the machine you're talking about, then you have to buy an actual Concept 2 ski erg. Is it only for Concept 2? Well, we teach it on a Concept 2. And if you take the pro mat, then you would become Dark Horse and Concept 2 certified, or technically we can't use certified, you trained if you will, you'll get our seals of approval. It doesn't mean you can't teach the information on other machines. It just means that it's specifically from the Concept2 machine and the videos are using the Concept2 machine, but the, the movement is the movement and the coaching is the coaching. coaching. Swap out the machines. I don't care what machine it is. It's valuable either way. Inside the Rig took the pro course and can confirm it's a great program. Thank you very much, Inside the Rig. Appreciate that. Um, we, I did not skimp on this, and I only want to make great stuff for you guys. 
And frankly, I sit here and I wonder what the next thing is going to be because I, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. And I care about making good content and building great coaches and strong coaches. And that is extremely important to me. So thank you inside the rig. Appreciate that. Other questions. Again, this is Academy Live Q&A. If you are interested in checking out the Academy, darkhorserowing.com slash academy. You can go check out the testimonials. We have a new testimonials page that just went live a couple days ago. We have some interviews with uh, some of our graduates. Matt, you want to learn the movement and you own a water rower. Love your content and love me some rowing. I, it will work for you, Matt. I promise. If and if it doesn't, buy it. I will. And we have a thirty day money back guarantee for a reason. If you get in and you find that in the first week it's just not worth it, it's not working for you, I will give you your money back. You just have to write us. Just say, I'm the guy with the water rower. <laughs> I've been trying it. It's just not, it's like round peg, square hole, not working. Great. We will refund you. Promise. I wouldn't, it, I would have a really shitty reputation if I were keeping people's money for reasons like that. Uh, and if it's not working, it's not working. Totally understand. Um, so back to YouTube, T-Money, R-T-Z. Thanks. Love your vids. Great. Appreciate that. Hopefully they've helped. Oh, no. Killed itself? Oh, no. Apparently we have a dead bird in the house. Or it's just unconscious, maybe. I've, we've had that happen before. They've gone unconscious. All right. <laughs> I'm not seeing any new questions. I'm going to go ahead and sign this one off. Thank you all for tuning in. I know it's been a wild hour. Lots of, wow, that was fast. 52 minutes? That does not feel like 52 minutes. Um, so that being said, inverted pyramid workout is awesome. Glad you enjoyed that, Edward. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Bad race strategy. You don't want to fly and die. Sensei. Bad pun. Bad pun. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. <laughs> I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I appreciate all of you. I love you all. I mean it when I say that at the end of all our YouTube videos. I just want to bring a lot of love and a lot of knowledge to the world. And I hope that the way that we're doing that through this course is, uh, is permeating into your lives and making things and your life better and bringing a family of dark horses together. Um, you guys are, if you're tuning in, it means that in some way you associate with being a dark horse. You know what it means to have to control your own life and uh, it, everything that you do is up to you. So if you want to change your position, if you want to change the things that you have, you can absolutely do it and it's within your power. So anyways, uh, thank you all. I hope to see a whole bunch of you in the academy. Now's the open time. We are getting people in all like all day, every day. And it's amazing to see the people that are uh, joining us in the academy. So look forward to seeing you all in there. Don't hesitate to hit us up with questions. Leave them in the comments on YouTube. Uh, ask in our posts and, and our stories on Instagram. And we will see you all on the other side. Now I awkwardly end this on both cameras.